Continuing the Daily Thunder Awards, today we're handing out seventh man of the year, or as I like to call it, the Harrell Award, because that's what Montrez Harrell won this year, if you ask me. Schroeder is easily, obviously, the sixth man of the year, not only for the Thunder, but in the NBA. So we're finding the best Thunder bench player besides Dennis. And to me, I got to go Nerlens Noel. The man made an impact every single minute he was on the court, especially defensively. His blocks, his steals, his help side D. I mean, if you look at the per 36 numbers, are elite, honestly. And then offensively, he always provided, whether it be mid-range jumpers, uh, reliable free throw shooting, dunks, lobs from both Schroeder and Chris Paul. Nerlens Noel could start for a handful of teams. And uh, as a backup, he's one of the best centers in the league. I feel like that was nice, but a little bit a little bit too high on Nerlens Noel, in my opinion. But surprise, surprise, here we are again. <laughs> I'm picking Darius Baisley. I don't know. I just – every award that we've had so far, he just seems like he could definitely be a contender. So maybe he should also be the MVP. I don't know. I'll have to think about that one for next week. But – I just feel like he provides such a spark off the bench. He became a consistent three-point shooter. Nolan Stowell is not a consistent three-point shooter. I don't think he shoots threes at all, which he shouldn't, which is fine. But I'm just saying, if we're talking about the level of defense, plus being able to shoot, I finally feel like we found our three and D unicorn that we've been searching for for, what is it now, 11 seasons? We've been trying to find this person who can play defense and also consistently hit threes. So that's why I'm picking Darius Basley. And you can laugh. You can be like Olivia. Are you going to pick Jerry Spacey for every single award at the Daily Thunder Awards? One, I can do whatever I want because there are awards. This is my show. And two, I think that he's a legitimate contender for all of these things because he had such an amazing end to the season that it makes sense. 